Good morning. This morning's devotional is taken from Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8, 9 and 10. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared for us in advance. I don't think we need the Bible to tell us that we and our world need saving. And I don't think we need the Bible to tell us that there's a problem with our human condition, call it a flaw. But we do need the Bible to tell us what that flaw is. And the Bible calls it sin. This is what we need saving from, and this is why we need a saviour. And simply put, sin is alienation from God. It's living apart from God. It's living as if we ourselves are God. It's living as his enemy. Frank Sinatra made that song popular, didn't he? I did it my way. And I think that kind of sums up the human flaw. Now, the evidence of this alienation from God is literally everywhere. Alienation from God manifests itself in every aspect of human life. It means basically we don't know why we're here, we don't know our purpose. And alienation from God means we're alienated from ourselves. We don't really know who we are. We have identity issues, gender issues, and all these things lead to depression and anxiety, shame and guilt. Alienation from God means that we're alienated from each other. We have marriage breakup, we have relationship problems, there's wars, there's racial issues. We just don't seem to be able to get on. And alienation from God means that we're alienated from our planet. We were created to have dominion over it, but rather than that, we've, we've pillaged it. We battle with it. And consequently, there's, there's floods and earthquakes and fires and yes, pandemics. And the solution to these problems is our reconciliation with God. And the Bible tells us that um, reconciliation with God is peace with him. It's friendship with him through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. And our salvation is his gift. It's a gift of a restored relationship with Creator God, and it's free. Now this itself poses a bit of a problem because you see, we're not really programmed to get something for nothing. We think we need to deserve things. We even teach our children, don't we? Be good and you'll get this. You have to deserve it. We don't earn it. Oh, we must earn it. Getting something for nothing can make us feel uncomfortable. A few months ago, at the beginning of lockdown, um, uh, we were invited by Terry and Brian from this church to go for ice cream to celebrate a, a significant birthday of Brian's. So we went to Binham Dairy, socially distanced of course, and Brian bought us all an ice cream. And as we were sat there chatting in the courtyard, uh, two sets of walkers came through together and they, you, they could see us eating ice cream. And so they went into the dairy. Well, one man went in to get some ice cream and he came out and he said, oh dear, I haven't got any money. It won't take a card. And with that, Brian brandished a 10 pound note and he said, please buy yourselves ice creams. They said, oh no, we couldn't do that. And Brian insisted, he said, no, no, please do. Please buy yourself ice creams. And they said, but we can't pay you back. And Brian said, it doesn't matter. But they couldn't accept that gift. But the fact is that we are saved by grace and it is a free gift and it's totally undeserved. So we've seen what we need saving from and why we need saving. But our reading today implies that we're saved for something not just for life of eternity with God after death, but we're saved to do good works, good works that have been prepared for us in advance. The Apostle Paul says this in Acts chapter 17, verse 25. From one man, he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he determined the time set for them and the exact places where they should live. So it's no mistake 
that we're living in the particular homes that we live in, in this particular location. And it's no mistake that we're living at this particular time in history with this particular pandemic. And I find that really exciting. And I wonder what good works he's prepared for us. Are we, are we doing them? I'm going to finish with a prayer. Father, you have placed us here at this time. How do you want to use us? How can we be available to you so that you can work out your purposes in the places you have put us? Show us how we can be your instruments of peace and healing here and now. In Jesus' name, Amen.